Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melody K. Love. Thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. I love spiritual readings. They are my favorite thing to do on my channel and I just love the comments that you guys gave me, especially in the last spiritual reading um, when we we're talking about the full moon in Sagittarius on June 9th and 10th. That was, oh, the comments just blew me away. Because at the end of that reading, I was like, ah, uh, I don't know if this makes sense. And you're like, oh my God, Mel, this makes sense, and blah, 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 blah. So I hope you had a fabulous month. And by the way, how did you guys go with going caffeine free? Um, that was an interesting one for me. I'm currently drinking a turmeric latte now. I've kind of been having a lot of them and it worked out divine timing obviously that we ran out of tea bags and I forgot to put them on the weekly shopping list and Peter and I have a rule about don't get extra things if you forgot them just make do with what you have um yeah so my caffeine intake had decreased so let me know how it went for you anyways my love we're going to crack on with today's reading it is the new moon reading that's occurring in cancer on June 23rd or the 24th depending on where you are in the world the energies are absolutely amazing astrologically. I was doing some research into the astrology around it, and this is like a fabulous time um, with communication and transport or travel. Um, so this is a perfect opportunity to start a new business. That idea that you've had, it's time to let it go. It's a perfect time to build new partnerships. It's just really a beautiful energy. Anyways, um, so stay tuned to the end of this reading because I actually have a special announcement that I wanted to let you guys know first. Without further ado, let's crack on to today's reading. We are going to begin with our Archangel Raphael cards. I know I don't normally start with these, but I've had guidance to start with these today. So let's see what comes up. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So whatever basically sticks into your subconscious at the end of this reading, that is your message for today. Okay. Okay, angels, can we have some guidance for our beautiful MK Love fan on the new moon in Cancer on June 23rd, 24th. It's my sister's birthday. Should be 29. That one, okay. Improving health. How amazing. Maybe that's got to do with our caffeine free. What I love about this card is it's like, look what's on this side. It's like, there's nothing really there. And it's like, you know, this one, this plan here hasn't fully developed, but it's on the right path and on the right journey. You just have to keep nourishing it and see what comes up. Woo! That's amazing. All right, let's see what this one says. Da, 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 da. Okay, 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 story time. Archangel Raphael is offering you an inside information concerning your health situation that you are inquiring about. He wants you to know that your prayers and helpful actions are working. <laughs> oh my God, this is probably about the caffeine free thing. To stay on this positive path, it may be some time before the improvements are visible or palatable. In the meantime, please remain optimistic and continue taking positive lifestyle actions. So by eating high vibrational foods, by um, you know being caffeine free, this is gonna pay a huge dividends for us in the end. Okay, what else does it say? If you are a healer, this card symbolizes that you are on the right path. The changes you have been recently contemplating are indeed, a gr are indeed guidance from Archangel Raphael who assists with your healing work. He is with you every step, every step of the way on your healing journey. Oh, that's so good. All right, so the prayer down the bottom, it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for comforting reassurance about the situation. What a fabulous start to today's reading. Oh my God. Okay, I think that's all for that one. Let's go into the Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. Let's just shuffle this. I didn't tap the last one again, whoops. Angels, can we have guidance on improving health for a beautiful MK Love fam? This is gonna be a good month. I just, I just have good energies around, I don't know. I just feel differently reading this one. Okay, that one. Time to go. You're on a mission. This is good, this is good. The sun sets and rises each day 
And it's the same with the adventures in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will always rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you every phase and cycle. Holy crap, that just links in with this one. It's, yeah, go for it. It's, it's, it's happening. It's like sometimes, you know, you may be having like a rough day, but when you look at a sunset and you're like, oh, isn't that just beautiful? It's like everything just kind of melts away of like any of the stresses that you probably put yourself under. Because I know a lot of you are spiritual entrepreneurs and the journey to be an entrepreneur can be stressful, but it's like take time out, reconnect with mother nature. If you're spending a lot of time around electrical equipment, that's going to lower your vibration and your energy. So just take time out and just know that tomorrow is a new day and that you can continue to make better choices. Wow! Okay, let's get another one from this deck. This is good. Can we have some guidance please, angels? Just, okay, that one. Steady progress. This is good. It's like just pace yourself, don't get overwhelmed. You're doing the right thing. Everything is working out. We acknowledge you for your progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. Good job, my loves. You've been doing your self-love practices. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, actions, and actions of love. I just feel overwhelmed with love just then. I've got tingles all through my body. Like, this is good. This is... Oh, yes. It's like you finally just said, like... I'm trying not to swear, um, I'm trying to think of a better word. It's like kind of saying, goodbye fear, you know, I'm doing this every day. It's a new day and I'm doing this. And by looking after myself and my self-love practices, I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right things and everything is working out for me. Yes. Another one. I got told another one. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, I haven't done a reading this happy in so long. You guys have obviously, your work is like being rewarded. About time. No, that's an upstream thought. Isn't it wonderful that everything is working out for us? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. That one, okay. Assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently with love. As you requested, oh, I didn't sh show you, sorry. It's like, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm in charge, I'm the leader, this is how it's going to happen. And you just, you just kill them with kindness. I'll just quickly tell you a story. Anyway, this week I had issues with our, um, our real estate agent. They, if you watched my blog, you would have seen that they overcharged us by like $100 for our water bill. Anyway, it's been three weeks and they still haven't sent us the check. And so I just like kill them with kindness and, and but be very assertive so people don't walk all over you. And so, uh, so I don't know what I said, but in a nice way, I was like, it's been three weeks and this has happened. If I do not have um, the payment by this time, at this um, by this date, at this time, I'll be taking the matter further. And within like two minutes, I had an email back, but assertiveness you need that it's like having a backbone but also being like this is who I am these are my values and you're not going to walk all over me this situation can be healed gently with love as you've requested yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving the strength and guiding your words that's kind of nice isn't it it's like, yeah, there's things that are going to come up on the, on whatever journey that you're at. And, you know, we just have to stand our ground and just say, thank you so much for that wonderful offer, but that's not going to work. And you feel so powerful when it happens. But you always say, say, thank you so much for whatever relationship that is. Like, thank you so much for responding. Okay, we're going to move on to the numerology cards now. Hope you've been seeing lots of synchronicities this week. I'm sure you have. And um, I'm sweating now. I just closed the door because I don't want my neighbors to hear what I'm saying. It's just weird. Okay, um, angels, can we have guidance? Ah! Okay. 
That's the guidance. Oh, it came up again! Spiritual career, my love. Oh my god. We had that last reading. That was the card that threw me last week, and now this week I'm like, dude. <laughs> Come, let me read that one again. I can't remember this deck. What is it, 78? Yay! <laughs> It's time to start that new business, guys. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. This card. Oh, sunshine, please shine on me. Thank you. This card indicates an opportunity to embark upon a career in the body, mind, and spirit arena. This could be a full-time or even a part-time venture. It is entirely up to you. You may already have the credentials to begin the work now, or you may require further study before you're ready to start. Whatever your situation, this card is confirmation that you have genuine talents and abilities that need to be put to good use. How good does that feel? You may decide to work as a clairvoyant, a life coach, home, homeopath, or healer and see clients from your home, or try your hand at being a card reader, a numerologist, or astrologer at your local mind, body, spirit fair. You may choose... Ooh, Okay, I just had a brainwave for them. You may choose to be a writer of inspirational books or blogs or conduct workshops in the community. Regardless of what you do, and however big or small your scheme, you may turn it into a career with the potential for success. In order to improve your current situation, you've been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are leading you to embark upon a spiritual career. Only you can know that it is the right time, but no matter what, you must believe that you will succeed. Remove the limiting beliefs that are preventing you from moving forward. Release your anxieties and trust the divine. When you focus on being of service rather than your worries, doubts, and fears, the universe will send you opportunities to serve. Affirmation today is, I serve the greater good and I've given them all that I need. Oh, okay, I think this is going to be a quick reading today. Moving on to our Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue, the biggest deck that my little hands can hardly get around, but let's see what it is, my love. Okay, is that still recording? Yeah. This thing is like itching me today. I don't know what's happened to it. Okay, angels, can we have guidance on improving health, time to go, steady progress, assertiveness, and spiritual career for my beautiful MK Love fam? What wisdom have you got for us today? What did you get? I just feel like, a, like it's Christmas. Oh, okay, that's the one. Oh my god, the lover's card. Oh my god. Okay, Archangel Raphael. Woo, Raphael's in that deck. Is it a Raphael? Yeah. What is he saying? Intimate relationships, carefully, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. That could be taken many ways. A lover's card doesn't necessarily mean like a romantic. It could be like a new partnership. Oh, yes, six. Let's read this one. I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, yes. I feel like so excited for you guys. Okay, it says, oh, I need to sort this lighting, good Lord. This card signals that a significant relationship is on your mind. It may be romantic in nature, or it may be intimate but platonic friendship. Communication is key right now. Oh, don't you love it how my readings match with astrology? It's now important to develop trust within the relationship. You can safely share your feelings with somebody close to you. Oh, that's beautiful. It's also an, it is, it's also time to make an important decision about your life. The conclusions you reach now greatly influence your future. So it's important to weigh your options carefully. Make sure your choices are thoughtfully considered and that you're able to act upon them. That could totally link in with your business venture. Additional meanings, the need for balance, a return to good health, marriage and weddings. Who's getting married guys? <laughs> Archangel Raphael, in addition to being an angel of health and travel, oh good lord, is the patron of soulmates. Raphael can help with significant relationships including those of romance, business, friendship and family. 
He can also help you manifest your soulmate partnership of your dreams. Well, holy flippin' heck. What? That is so beautiful. So, oh, I just feel so excited. Like, I feel like that's all the cards that I need to pull today. I think you've got enough clarity with those six cards. It's a beautiful ending. Do I do one more? I'm being told numerology. That's where my eyes are going. Oh, let's just let's just meditate on that just for a moment. It's like everything's working out. So whatever the spiritual career is or this path that you're going on, um, be very careful of the people that you are um, manifesting into your life because that, those people's energies can affect you. So make sure that you're like cleansing yourself and you have like a morning routine and something that helps raise your vibration because sometimes if you're working in a spiritual career other people's energies can greatly affect you all right let's do one more numerology card i just love this one the flower of life everything is connected okay angels can we have clarity on improving health time to go steady progress assertiveness spiritual career and the lovers card for my beautiful mk love fam the best family on youtube so beautiful they've been working hard they're about to be rewarded whoa okay this one come out parenting Ooh, this one's very dirty this card parenting what number is that 63 six nine completion yes parenting that could be not as in like parenting is in like the child's sake it could be parenting as in like parenting like the birth of this new business like sending it love and nourishment and warmth and kindness then just like at the beginning like when you start a new business like when you have a new new child it's like you're learning new ways and you're learning to um what just came in my head to like n nurture and nourish in like a completely new way and if it's a, if it's your first baby then it's even more exciting and it's also like oh my god i'm learning everything but everything's fine okay let's see what What's her name? Good old Shelly says about this one. <laughs> this card indicates that you have a natural gift for parenting and working with children. Per perhaps you have a child or children of your own, or maybe there are children with maybe there are children within your extended family or your circle of friends. Maybe you play the parenting role within your relationships with others who tend to behave like children. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, the ability to teach, nurture, and guide the next generation raises the vibration of the world. Every ounce of time, attention, love, and support you invest in child pays dividends down the road. This is a time to honor and embrace the significant role you play in the life of the child. Whether it is your own child or that of a parent, neighbor, relative, child, or friend. Don't underestimate the importance of your unconditional love and guidance because even a small gesture can have a massive impact on a child's life. In order to improve your current situation, you've been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to spend quality time with children. Go out of your way to brighten a child's day. Give your attention freely and know that a little goes a long way. By investing in the younger generation, you invest in the future of humankind. I love and nurture children and make the world a brighter place. I also got from that one too, is that when we're around children, children have naturally pure positive energy. They don't have any of the fears and um, anxieties that adults have today. So I think, that can be taken in numerous ways, but I feel like this is really beautiful. I probably shouldn't have pulled the extra card now that I'm thinking of it. I should have just stopped at the lovers. But my loves, let's just go through the cards again because this was another beautiful reading. This one I just feel extra um, excited about. All right, so we got today improving our health. So whatever we've been doing that's working well for us, keep on the path. Time to go. Beautiful things happen. You're on a mission. Da, 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 da. Steady progress wins the race. You know, don't get overwhelmed with what you're doing. Make time up for you. Be assertive on this path. Whatever the path that you're on, stand your ground. Stay true to yourself. And beautiful things are happening. Spiritual career. 
Oh my god, I love this one. Lovers card, we've got beautiful partnerships, intimate or platonic that are coming into your world right now. And I know that in the full moon, we actually had um, like a mini crisis with relationships. Um, there was some, some unease, maybe some people were experiencing. Um, but that is just, just a beautiful card. So it's like things are starting to work out for you. And parenting, start nurturing yourself, your inner child. Um, Self-love practices, there's so many things that totally fit in with this card here. And six and three is nine, nine is the um, completion. It's like, you're doing the right thing. My loves, that's such a beautiful reading. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. And today, are you ready for my special announcement? Ta-da! I'm finally so excited to release my new business. I'm going to be conducting um, private spiritual readings for you guys. It's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one, like um, live reading because my internet is, um, how do I choose a downstream thought? It really would be lovely if I had super fast, reliable internet, but at this stage I don't. So what I'm going to do is pre-record it and send it off to you. If you would love more guidance on whatever situation is going for you, please click the link in the description because I would love to read for you. I'll be doing more in-depth readings. They're going to be um, a minimum of 30 minutes. If you want a longer reading, let me know because I would be happy to help you out. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Oh, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I've totally like stepped up my game at the moment. Um, I'm actually doing some readings on Instagram stories um, and just doing some Q&As for you guys. So much has been happening on Instagram. I've kindly like revamped it and I've got love for it again, which is the best feeling in the world. I just wanted to say, I hope you have a fabulous new moon and that, you know, everything is working out for you. Just stay in vibrational alignment. You know what works best for you. And I am so excited to hear about whatever is going on for you in the comments below. Have an amazing day, my love. I love you. I'm giving you a big cuddle. And have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.